Tony here from Lightwave Digital. Today what we're going to look at is how we can take models through to Chronosculpt and make some alterations to them without animating them and bringing them back in. So Chronosculpt wasn't really made as a sculpting package to create uh, monsters like this. It's to animate monsters and uh, and edit the animations. But what, I, what I've done in the past, if, I've, if I need some small alterations to any sculpts, I've took it through quickly to do it that way. So let me show you what I mean. So I've got this uh, Godzilla model and it's around let's have a look just under 14,000 polys so let's go into Chronosculpt and let's drag in that actual model there we go so when it comes in you press A on your keyboard to centre it and then here we've got a model. Now let's imagine I wanted to change this sculpt rather than go back into any sculpting package and re-sculpting and stuff. It isn't uh, textured or anything like that. It's just got a default texture on. So we can, if you've got a painting package and you want to take in a paint after you could. But let's just make some alterations. So if you've never used Chronosculpt before, I did an introduction tutorial to the interface. So check that out as well. But what I want to do is I just want to make some alterations to the original model and then export it as a, a, a new model with a morph. So what we're going to do is we'll go up to setup mode. So this means that we're not going to be animating. We're just we're editing the original model. And let's start by playing with the tool. So we'll start with pinch. So with pinch, I'm just going to right mouse click to change the size. And I'm going to then shrink in. Let's just click and shrink. The actual head. I want to make the head like a bit smaller or a lot smaller, like so. Then let's get the drag tool. Let's pull it out a bit, like so. Can even bring it down a bit if I want, like like that. <laughs> it's looking quite cool. Uh, next, let's do a let's use a sculpt tool, and I'm just going to turn on X for symmetry. So whatever I do on one side, it does on the other. You've got your actual size, strength, and hardness here bring it down so if I kind of start sculpting around this side here it's doing the same on the opposite side so let's just bring this out a little bit like so kind of looks like a snake a little bit and then what we'll do is we'll hold down control to inverse the sculpt to, to send it a little bit more in like so and then what we'll do is I'll re, uh, resize the actual sculpt brush smaller and these ridges here let's just sculpt them out a little bit more like so I mean I'm just making this up as I go along to be fair and also what else can we do let's go and make the actual claws a bit longer so back to the drag tool and let's just bring these out and obviously it's doing it on the opposite side for me In fact, let's make them really long. Like so. Okay, so it's got really long, long claws. Do the same with the feet even. We can bring these forward. Like so. What else can we do? Just to make a few more alterations. I mean, let's make... Bit of a hum. Let's bring these out a little bit. Maybe he's got a kink. And the tail, like so. And let's say we're happy with that. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go up to File, Export, Endomorph. When the settings comes up, it's going to resave the model as a new model with a new name and attach the new morph here so you'll still have your original okay into your contents folder so press ok we'll go back into layout and now let's drag in the new model now when you drag it in you'll be thinking well, it looks exactly the same that's because we've saved the changes are to the new model as a morph so if we come down here to new morph you'll see the changes are here like so so when you want to change the make the morph the actual model what we do is make sure you're on the model layer 
go to map go to apply morph and from the apply morph choose the new morph and then press ok and now that's your original model changed to this model here and it's as easy as that and I sometimes use this technique just to change little bits like this. But it's still cool that you can do it in such a quick way. And you've got a completely different kind of model. I mean, if I just put the original back in. That's the original. And then let's have a look at them side by side. So let's move it to the side first. And then let's have a look. And there we have it. So you can make lots of different versions of this for the client to even look at if you want to quickly make versions but that's it it's as easy as that hope you enjoyed the tutorial thanks for listening